Hi, welcome to Flight Test. I'm TJ. I'm Michael. And I'm Josh. And we have an awesome thing. So you may remember Michael, they did yep. an episode on the tilt rotor. And it's an awesome concept. The front and back motors both tilt oh. forward yep. to fly. Yep. So now tell us a little bit about it. So basically a tilt rotor is a quadcopter that has two servos to independently control the tilting of the motors. Uh, the idea for that is that basically the front motors will tilt a lot less than the rear. So the front prop watch doesn't hit the rear motor. So that way it will wow. give you a very stable flight. Um, and then right now we're, we were working on a new firmware update using Betaflight. So right now all the cool features of Betaflight will be able to be used on the X-Ray. No kidding. Yeah, so all the stable fly as you can notice, it's yeah. like when you when you change from clean fly to better fly, you see a whole new flying experience, right? Yeah. So that's basically what we we're trying to bring to the X ray now. Now this is really cool here. Uh, like you said, a little over a year ago, we got to see this for the first time. One it was reason, a prototype seal. It was a prototype, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And one reason why we love Michael and Androids is because the innovation you yeah. have and that you brought to the table. He didn't just show up with an awesome tilt rotor quad. He showed up with a VTOL that we all had an absolute blast oh, yeah. with. And one reason we wanted to do this update video is to show how far it's come, how much it's been perfected, but also the passion that this young man has to continue this journey. Yep. Now, the experience that you get with this is incredible because it's not like flying a quad where you're pitching forward and you know, a lot of times people talk about degrees of tilt. Yep. That doesn't exist with this quad because it's like a NASCAR. It's, it, it goes fast. It's linear, it's horizontal the whole time. Yep. And just to see it fly through the air is, for me, kind of weird. Yeah, Because <laughs> yeah. it, it stays completely level and just it just goes. It just goes. I mean, if you if you look at the camera, I mean, it's horizontal. Yeah. There is no tilt. Now, this is the final version. People have been able to buy this. We've even been carrying yep. this on our store. We like this so much. Yeah. Why don't you uh, go ahead and run this through for new people, some of the features on this. Okay. But also, let's get this up in the air and see it. Sure, sure. So it's turn this on. What I like about it is the price point. Yeah. 379 for the DIY kit, and that includes basically all the electronics that you need to build it. <laughs> That's so, incredible. It's a complex build, um, but we we made sure that you know we, we make clear for people to, to build it. Yeah. Awesome. So, awesome dude. Okay. All right. So oh, you guys wow. can see how how the front and rear motors they tilt at different angles. And that's controlled with your pitch. So yeah. when yep. you push forward, you go forward, right? Yep. So this is basically the stabilized mode. Um, basically how I describe it, it's like it's just like a Phantom that you have full control of the aircraft. It basically does whatever you input on the radio. Oh, okay. So so, so that makes sense. So your, your throttle is pretty much going to control altitude. Yep. And then if you want to go forward, you don't have to really give it throttle. You just push forward and it goes. Right, right. Now, I thought Dude, this that's... was going to be really hard to comprehend. The first time we flew it, it was so easy. <laughs> yeah. It's honestly, it feels like you're driving a car in the air. Yeah. Here, let's go for it. <laughs> Holy cow. Dude, it looks just... like a race car in the sky. It's just... It's... And it is fast. It is crazy It is fast. pretty fast. Now, with Betaflight, did it get smoother operation? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you can see the, the frame stay really stable. Um, compared to the ground. Like it's, you see, if you have foot forward, you see the motor tilting forward, but the yeah. frame just stays there. Seems the nothing. funny thing is that these are, these are actually stock PIDs. I have not touched them. So what, what that translates into stock PIDs means that if you do have this and you update it, you're not gonna have to come out to a field and fiddle with it. You're not gonna have to update and try to get it tuned because it's gonna actually give you a really great experience. Right, and it flies backwards. <laughs> That's crazy. You need a rear view mirror, you know that? <laughs> rear view camera, actually. Yeah, it looks there like, you go. <laughs> it looks like the design of this actually kind of looks to me like a race car. Did you kind of model it off of that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. All right, let me. <laughs> hey, speaking of bumping the ground, how durable is it? It's, it's really durable. Honestly. Um, we have built in the arm, so I can show you in a few seconds. Uh, let me take it down. All right, so we have built in the arms uh, okay. crash mechanism. So basically, it has a high strength bolt on the outside uh -huh. um, at joint and a, it's, it's soft a stainless. Yeah, it's like a shipping. So if oh. you crash hard enough into something, you just kind of snap the inside. So the servos and everything will... should be protected yep. Yep. based off yep. of just having a shear yep. bolt on. Yep. So the, arm, the arm just folds back. Um, you just you can even like fold it back and fly it or you Put just... a zip tie in it and keep yeah. on going. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really durable. Can I fly? Maybe. So just like this. Yeah, just throttle up, stick to the mirror. And then when you pitch forward, you have to give it a little throttle. Um, that's That can be adjusted on, on, on our software, uh, but right now we we haven't touched that. So Dude, when you- That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. It just looks so weird. Yeah, so you can just now pitch forward and like increase throttle and the thing will just launch. Do it. Holy crap. Throttle, 
Throw a little bit more, that was low. I don't wanna. <laughs> Dude, this is insane. When you're flying an FPV, it's incredibly natural. It makes sense to your mind, oh, yeah. the way it's controlled. So you don't have to worry about it being difficult. I like the innovation. And one thing with flight tests, we really love, you know, when people think outside the box, especially to kind of create a new experience. That's exactly what this has done. Yeah, and something that I, I want to point out, like this is not a racing quad. Uh, this one is meant for experiencing the flight. You know, going fast with fire will also go slow into places where you want to take a really good look at. Um, mainly because the camera is always pointing where you yeah. want to go, no matter how fast you go. It's really good to just explore places, and that's what I want to. Kind of trace treetops yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. That's awesome. It's really fun. What do you think skill set wise? You can, um, you can I'll say, as a first I'll flight? say, so if you can fly Phantom, mm -hmm. you can easily adapt to this one. So it's a good possibility in the future, you know, renditions and stuff, you may eventually see a barometer on something oh, yeah. like this. Yeah, on this one you can also um, use Horizon and Acro. Okay. But on Betterfly, we haven't worked on having Horizon and Acro on pitch. It only works on roll. Okay. So basically, you can do flip, uh, but then it will stay as stabilized on, on the pitch. Eight. Okay. I love watching the tail here. It looks like when you're banking right, it's kind of swipe into the right. Yeah, yeah. So if you can see the LEDs here, go to the right, and they swipe to the right, go to the left. So I've got turn signals. <laughs> yeah. That's incredible. How does it feel, TJ? Cause it's actually really good. <laughs> What's the flight time on these? So it's very similar to a regular quadcopter. Okay. Um, depending on how fast you fly, it might be a little more efficient. Okay. Um, because you're using mainly just two motor to push you forward. Yeah. Okay. All right, so Michael, I love watching this fly here. Um, Thanks. Now one thing, uh, you're going to be revisiting the VTOL. That was one thing that really got our community excited about and stuff. What are your plans right now with that? Yeah, so right now, um, basically, we want to recreate easier to use VTOL. Because like, as I showed last year, yeah. we had the Nano Sky Hunter wing here, and but it's really difficult to put it together. Yeah. So what we want to do now is to basically focus on getting small size airplanes, VTOLs, so that basically we can impact more people with our products. Love it. So, um, but so it will also follow you know, all the passion that we have put into this product. I here. love it. And that was one of the coolest experiences and stuff. Most VTOLs you get, they're not that powerful, they're not that fast. Uh, these were both. And then also the flight time wasn't hindered because you did have to operate, you could operate on a much lesser throttle setting. So you had a lot of really great capabilities right. with it. And also the way it looked, the way it sounded was incredible too. Also, Michael, what you've done is you've turned your passion, your profession. And we want to do at Flight Test everything we can do to promote awesome individuals like Michael here because this innovation is going to change how drones are seen. Michael, man, thanks so much for coming out to Flight Test South. Thank and also, thank you for your passion. We're going to put all the links down around the X-ray, around our last year's video that we've done with it. We want to give Michael every chance to have it be seen, be celebrated, and hopefully give that experience to you. Thanks for being part of the family, and we'll see you next time. Bye.